we are on a falconry hunt. Well, we are on our way to a falconry hunt uh, with Adam Hine from On The Fly Outfitters. And this is our third year doing this and this will be our fourth hunt. So just a heads up, if you're squeamish and you don't wanna see cute little woodland creatures be viciously attacked by hawks and falcons, probably turn away. But if you wanna see something freaking amazing and totally awesome, then stick around because it's, it's an amazing experience. Oh, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. seen our German Shepherd storm but we also got a Malinois puppy not too long ago and storm <laughs> storm is calm enough to stay with my parents but uh, Havoc is his name and he is not calm enough to stay home with my parents so we had to bring him with us and we gotta let him get some uh, air real quick he's never been in weather this cold before you guys, uh, uh, do you want me to quiz everybody as we get going, see if the, what the recall is from years past? Or you yeah, kind of sure. Yeah, so, go for it. Um, no, I was this is I was gonna make it new and different for you guys, um, uh, adults and kids alike. Um, this is a tea perch. This is what we use when we go out to New Mexico and Kansas and the middle of the country. Sorry, I'll stand over here so y'all can see this better. Um, this is what we use when we go hunt jackrabbits and we're out in the field where there aren't trees anywhere. And so for the, the Harris Hawks to have a height advantage, they will literally sit on top of this while you're walking through the field. And then uh, we'll fly three or four birds at one time. Obviously this morning we're just going to fly Doyle uh, to start. And uh, we'll put a little piece of meat up there. We'll let y'all hold them. Y'all got gloves, right? Because mm -hmm. it's going to be an exposed hand. It's going to be kind of chilly. Yeah. <laughs> so whoever wants to go can do it. And we're going to walk like this. Uh, you're going to walk like a tree and have the bird come land up there. And then we'll send the dog into flush and stuff like that. So awesome. new this year, I've got another dog. We got, we're going to run two dogs now. Yeah. Uh, and have the lab to go in and flush. Yeah, so, that's going to be awesome. Uh, should be kind of cool. But all right. So let's do this real quick. So these are, you got in order to take all this off, this is uh, this is not the proper way to dress a quail for food. I can do that later, but this is just how I like to take them off. And I like to get the wings off first and take the legs off and you can pitch them together, cut them right behind the knee. This is the the shin, but in a, mm. in a bird that's called the tarsus, T-A-R-S-U-S. Okay. Just super, super random. <laughs> I wouldn't get too attached to them. I know, your days are numbered. You're a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Like Where do you buy silence. these? So those are the, I actually breed those. Those are the, oh. the pigeons. So those are, those are only the safety protocol. Those, those should, should last a long time. So and they don't try to bite you when you do that? Yeah. <laughs> so you breed pigeons? I do, yeah. Oh. Nobody so got I breed my the joke. pigeons. Yeah. Nobody got my joke. Oh, they don't bite you? <laughs> when you try to breed them. Oh, oh. terrible. Okay. It's terrible. Wow, Adam. <laughs> early. It's too early. I haven't had my coffee yet. Um, <laughs> it's going to be one of those mornings. <laughs> yeah, I put them on like every bird. Okay. I was thinking it was just the, the peregrine like falcon. Pet, by the way. Did <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Kim? Oh, yeah. Kim, did you hear what I said? I'm sorry, what? I said they don't, they don't like being pet. Oh. <laughs> Totally kidding. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's he started it. Like, <laughs> we're gonna keep the sarcasm and the the, the jokes going. I'm gonna try to, try to stay with it. <laughs> Come, uh -uh, Cooper. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Hey, go pup. Hey, go pup. Cooper, here, here. Aww. Sit, sit, mm. sit. Good. Sit. Oh. Sit. Oh my Cooper. Free. Just say hey to everybody. He does free. Free. Is there anything cooler than hunting with 
raptors and dogs. I mean, they're I raptors, think right? For, dogs. For, yeah, yeah, raptors. I think for me, um, the most rewarding experience. Um, I, I have a favorite bird that I like to hunt with, but when you can incorporate the dog work uh, and really be subservient to, to have, have have all three of us be subservient to the hawk, it, it's kind of kind of fun to watch yeah. and to watch the birds. Birds and dog. dogs by themselves, you know, without the birds in, in play, are fun to watch. Mm -hmm. and fun to watch work. Yeah, I want to be you when I grow up, Adam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I want to figure out what I want to do when I grow up. Too. <laughs> All right. So this is one of the hardest things to do when your hands are cold. Yeah. Put the transmitter on. You want some cute little gloves? I have some. <laughs> you still need the dexterity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hold it tight now. So put the one as far down as you can, maybe. Yep, and one as high up as you can. Is that comfortable? Just like that. And let's just kind of start walking. Up. Here he comes. See him coming? Mm, how cool is that? Is that kind of neat? <laughs> try to walk. If he flies away, that's okay. Let's just kind of walk, walk down this way. There Follow Adam. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. I'll take it while he's not. It's a try to do with you. You just keep it upright and vertical like that. Perfect. And they say the mark of a true falconer when you're doing this is to get pooped on. I was just thinking that. Yes. <laughs> that would be some excellent content right there. <laughs> Here it comes. Doc, come on, find the birds. Let's go. Here. All right, so what is the so Doc finds the bird yep. and then Cooper flushes it out the flush, yep. and then Doyle nails it. Yeah, that's, that's the hope. Find the bird. And if he flies off, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, if think about it warming up, walking through this stuff, you guys are following me. It could get kind of wet. Get warming up. Yeah. position. Let's see. Sit, sit, sit. Watch the watch the pheasant. See if it goes in. Sit, sit. Good boy, Cooper. Good boy, Cooper. All right, the pheasant went down. The hawk saw it. Uh, Y'all ready for a, a brisk morning jog here? Yeah. yeah. Let's see if the hawk goes down first. We're gonna run the road. Uh, Let's jog. Is he, is Doc? Doc uh, smells it. Oh, okay. Hawk pinned it. So I would imagine it's probably not running right this second, but I'm gonna come in behind the Doc and release Cooper, see if he can get in there and flush it again. Cool. Easy, Cooper here. Cooper. Whoa. Work. Where is it, Coop? Work. 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 Oh, that's, that's a, Cooper, sit. Sit. So not only do the hawks and dogs like to work, run harder, the pheasants are running harder. <laughs> Typically on a day like that, the pheasant's gonna be gassed mm -hmm. and not, not gonna be able to fly that far and that the, the hawk would catch it. I almost say 99% of the time they catch it on that reflush. That pheasant had a lot left in the tank. Um, the hawk took off after it, so if you guys want to yep. stay with it, I mean, this is part of hunting. We're going to cut straight through, if that's all right. Yeah. Uh, and then there's that, that road that cuts through up there, and we'll see what the hawk's done. Mm -hmm. And so this is all actually really good. Uh, 
you know, the hawk is waiting. The hawk didn't hesitate to pull the trigger on it and try to catch it. The dog, Cooper found, dog, dog found it, and then Cooper found it. And that's actually building the teamwork. Yeah. By adding the third element to it. I've ever had out here. <laughs> Let's see if that he puts it to the tree line. It might just yeah, it got caught or uh -huh. something. <clears throat> graphic warning. Yeah, graphic warning. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I get close to Just tell us again, he's, he's basically like the shotgun. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, 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 snap. Oh, the, the, he really Called a little action there. Lighten his load. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like the shotgun, basically. He just, yes. he's going to fly right this, off your hand. Yeah, this style, we call this shotgunning. Because we're going to try to get as close to the point in the flush as possible with both dog and bird. And instead of pulling the trigger, um, he's going to leave off the fist. And so where, where with Doyle, we need the trees or we need the... Um, uh, the height advantage of that perch, the, this hawk should be able to overtake whatever quarry we're after from the fist, mm -hmm. which is from roughly three and a half, four feet high. And so the hawk, see him actually shivering as well? Mm -hmm. This bird, this is called a northern goshawk. This, I think this is actually, ah uh ah! -uh. You're not supposed to be talking either. Cooper, no, quiet. Um, quiet. This bird um, is. I need to turn that off here in a second. <laughs> Cooper, no. Uh, this bird's native to the northern part. Y'all might, might want to turn around here in a second. Someone, you're going to see a side of Adam that y'all have never seen before. It's sitting at the base of this pine tree. Yeah, I see it. That's so cool. I don't know how I can. Y'all ready? Yep. So this this goshawk followed the bird into this swampy area uh, back here, and that's why Adam's trying to find the bird. He's got his uh, tracker on it, but I guess because of the train back here, he's having a hard time. So he hears the bell. We've heard the bell a couple times back here. So he's trying to find uh, where. Where the bird is. Oh, yeah, look at there. Uh, no, he's like reddish. Is he poisonous? <laughs> Can I pick it up? Yeah, get it. Okay. Oh my gosh, Lucy. Cheers. Is he flying? Hold him closer to your face, yes. baby. Hold him closer to your face. Cheers. Who else wants to hold him? He's slimy. 
Oh, he's pretty. Mm -hmm. I can barely feel him. I have my... Oh, you are, you are about don't to get... get out of there. I'm trying. Don't fall. Your shoes are like, ew. Right. There's a rotten there. tree. Oh, there's a tree back there. Further in the background. It's funny. It's, it's amazing how you can't find them. That's yeah. the protection. Top of that yeah. Hmm. So now we are hunting for squirrels with a Harris hawk, and Adam shakes like the vines that are coming down off of the trees. See if we can get squirrels to move. And whenever we see a squirrel, we start hollering ho, ho, ho. That lets the hawk know that there's a squirrel. And then we go from there. So, I'm saying like, yeah, he just squeaked too. All right, everybody ready? Oh, let's listen, everybody listen. There it is. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. Y'all ready? Right there in the old truck. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, there's one behind it. Oh, there's one in the tree with you. Yeah. Hey, oh, there's three of them on that tree. Oh, oh the one's crossing. Oh, yeah. Here it goes. It's going up really high. There goes one on the ground. There's one at the very top. Don't hear, hear that. Yeah. That was a squirrel jumping from the top of the tree. It bailed out and took off. There's one above it. It's still a bit. Is she looking up? Can you tell? No, yeah, there's one. Way up. I can't well, there's tell if she's looking up. Tree? It's in the it's in those thin branches above it. Go watch it. There's one. Oh, there's there. It's on the branch that she say? was on. You say, ho, 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 ho. That, that's oh, where it was. It. Got it. It's got it. Oh, oh, she's stuck. She might lose it. Oh, she's not getting bit. Oh, that was quick. It was just sitting there that whole time. Quick timing. Did you see her fly right up at it? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's not over yeah, yet, guys. Does. She might drop it here. She's in it. She's not in a comfortable spot. <laughs> she's like her a little bit. Yeah. See a tail hanging? I don't. I hope the way she's. The way it's clinching, I think she's got a headshot. It could be over and done. That's how you like to fly the hunt to go. You come in here, she, we shook a tree over here, squirrel flinched over here, she engaged it, three of them went, she, she took the one that took the wrong one. It went up and it didn't have a play. That was cool. I was, I was starting to wonder, did I not see that squirrel? Because it quit moving, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll go up there and ball up like a pine cone. Did y'all hear how loud that was? That was crazy, yeah. yeah. It sounded like a limb. Took off running. Right Is there? It's hot to some degree. Is it there? It's whether or not she on does have a good foot hold and she can reposition well. She's taking it. Oh my gosh, that's a flying squirrel. Let's get it. There is one on that one.
she didn't play around today, did she? Yeah, and she's got no no blood anywhere, which is good. I mean, she didn't get she didn't take a bite. Yeah, how how close and personal is that, guys? Yeah, I know. Is that that's pretty cool? Y'all hear her ripping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hear her breaking and stuff. She gotten into meat yet? Mm -hmm. see no, not yet. Yep. Just leave it. back up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Look at mom and dad. Hand out. Oh yeah, right up there. And we come up, up right there, yeah. so you can see his belly, like he's just hanging out with <laughs> just relaxing, just chilling, taking a little cat nap, squirrel nap. Yeah. Another say, cheese. Matthew said she's getting a hawk one day. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work. You got squirrels in your backyard. Uh, Final location, I think this is um, before lunch, we're gonna fly the Peregrine Falcon. And this is like the most amazing thing. This happens the fastest. Got the, uh, the iPad and the, the GPS transmitter, a little different than the other one, which is ultra high frequency. This one allows me to track in real time, height, speed, temperature, climb rate, like a, lot of, a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's no guesswork where audibly, I was trying to track down the goshawk uh, just to see where he was at here. Uh, and there's literally a blue blinking dot that just tells me exactly where, where the bird's at. The last time I flew it, she got up 1,300 feet. And then you couldn't see her. No. Hopefully she doesn't go that high. <laughs> yeah. She caught it. She caught the pheasant, which was great. Uh, I think and she, the pheasant didn't fly all that great. It kind of flew on the horizontal. And so she had to come up and kind of catch it that way. And I think she, the, we recorded like 94 miles an hour, I think. <laughs> so not the fastest, but... Definitely not yeah, right. So 94, and you said they can get up to 250 or 280. Is those? Yeah, 280. I think it's unofficial. 280. That's crazy. Fastest I've ever recorded uh, is 113. That's her way, way back there. It's hard to get on video. Mm -hmm. Keep watching the falcon. Watch the falcon. There we go. There it goes. <laughs> Missile. Y'all see where the pheasant went? No. I didn't know. I didn't take my eyes off the falcon. Oh, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh. Woo, woo. Oh. <laughs> get all he wants to go home. You think that thing wants to get off the ground? With the falcon over head? <laughs> you want to hold the little pig? She's still circling. He's dead. There's no other bridge. Y'all are getting to see everything that goes right next to that is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. That's funny. Come on. Watch it go. She's about to go sit on him now. He's just. That's a pro.
frustrated man now. Huh. You need a potato launcher to oh, I do, don't I? put stubborn pigeons in. <laughs> man. Well. And so what eventually with this bird, if, if I can get her to consistently, I mean, the last time she was, she was out here, she did so great. And then today she actually did okay. It's just the pheasant yeah. went down and we couldn't get to reflush in time. And it went, and then clear the pigeon again, huh. like all that kind of stuff. Just kind of couldn't really control that. Focus that close. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. That's cool. See the gore on her? She's a lot messier. Oh, you yeah. me saying that? Yeah. Look at that. Down the hatch. Big old gulp. Come on, back away just a little bit since she's about to be done. Yeah. 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 Try peeking, camera. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm trying to peek in right here. Peek in. Right here, baby. Good. Sweet. Yeah, he might eat it for you. See other bag. So, go have fun. Yeah, wasn't that awesome? And now we're here eating lunch. The horse is over there. Can't see it, but there's a bald eagle in its uh, home over there. Mm, this beautiful place. We had an amazing day as we do every year when we do this. I really want to thank Adam from On The Fly Outfitters. If you want to do something really unusual and very memorable, you should contact them.